Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So recently, there is a huge, huge hype for the new Fujifilm X106, or BI, or whatever you want to call it. And, well, I thought it was the right time for me to purchase my first Italian. Yes, not just because uh, the uh, X100, it's really hard to find uh, available, but also the price is, uh, it's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> so I decided that, uh, uh, well, why don't buy a camera that I actually don't need, uh, but uh, I want. So uh, here we are with the Leica X2. I found a bargain for, uh, uh, this uh, uh, digital camera and I decided that uh, well, it was the right time for me to go digital on life as well but uh, despite really liking the design uh, even if uh, I have to be honest uh, it's a little bit small so probably with uh, uh, a thumb uh, I don't know older here the the size would be a little bit better in my opinion as well as uh, probably put uh, uh, a base here that allows a better grip I felt like uh, well there is something actually missing here and uh, here it is yes it's a yellow leatherette well, you can see better this way and uh, because I feel like, well, for me, like, uh, as I mentioned more than once, it's not discreet, but uh, it's being seen. And as I love my yellow M5, I feel like my yellow X2 or future yellow X2 would be the best things to do. Uh, this leatherette was bought uh, by, from uh, Asahi. Uh, really famous to provide uh, this kind of leatherette as well as uh, the one where I purchased in the past uh, the yellow one for my M5 so without further ado let's make uh, this X2 unique for Kego Moriano first things that we have to do of course is to uh, remove the original uh, leatherette and uh, we need to try to do that uh, of course without uh, damaging uh, the uh, camera and uh, one of the things that i think is the right uh, tool potentially to use uh, in this uh, situation is this kind of plastic uh, uh, things that usually is used to uh, separate the um, the screen from uh, of the of the mobile phone when you have to do some repair so uh, well let's try first of all to see if this one can actually uh, lift the leatherette and seems like it's okay and then we slowly try to remove it uh, and avoid uh, to damage. Okay, actually it's uh, way thinner than I had uh, uh, expected. And uh, all the original double side tape uh, uh, is here, so we just use again this scrap, scrapper or scraper, no scrapper, scraper and we try to remove it I feel like with the nail it's easier at this stage but uh, up to you whatever you want to use whatever tool you want to use for this operation
try to clean it as much as possible but I noticed that uh, I, I don't want to say a waste of time but uh, I don't I don't achieve a great result so I decided to leave as is and simply stick on top of this one that seems to be pretty strong um, the yellow leatherette so let's start uh, with the first one and easier potentially that is the piece here on the side pretty easy straightforward and perfect laser cut second one let's try this part can still use uh, this uh, plastic scraper to help push it in place okay and here we are definitely definitely better than uh, uh, the original color in my opinion because uh, again I love yellow so I think like uh, it's, uh, it's a good result and well next things well next uh, step will be of course uh, going out and enjoy our yellow Leica X2 okay it's it's definitely good I really like it and uh, yes it's it's shiny and uh, everyone will look at it so exactly what I wanted again as I mentioned before I noticed that the leather used uh, by uh, Leica um, it's really thin way thinner than this one I'm not much surprised but uh, uh, at least it seems that uh, the tape used is uh, good in fact it was really hard to remove it <laughs> that's why at the end for this piece only I decided to give up but uh, yeah here we are and uh, what do you think uh, have you ever modified one of your cameras at least from a color perspective let me know in the comments down below and that's all for me for today uh, in the next video I will use the camera so that we can check it out uh, what's the quality of a Leica, original Leica camera and not the one of the rebranded uh, Panasonic cameras that are actually uh, on sale like the Deluxe, V-Lux series and something like that. That's all for me for today and as usual, till next time, stay click. Bye!